FIFA 19 is finally here, and if you want any cheap MSP or PSN for FIFA points or some cheap game codes, check out G2A.com. I'll leave a link down below in the top line of the description and use code HABER for 3% cash back. How is it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is my foot champ squad. I want to show you guys the squad that I'm using in foot champs and the squad that I'm having a lot of success with in foot champs as well. Uh, this squad just seems really really good. It's well balanced. It just works perfectly for me and I want to share my play style and the way I play with you guys. Now I'm no amazing player as you can see by the record. This is my Rotor Glory account by the way on PlayStation. Uh, I'm not fantastic at the game. Uh, currently in foot champs though I am Seven wins out of nine games, which actually is not bad for me. That's pretty solid. I, I've got into the wrong screen here. That's pretty solid for me. Seven and two is actually really, really solid. Um, so I'm seven and two right now in foot champs. And I want to show you guys the squad that I've been using for this. It's actually a solid squad. It works perfectly. And it actually, I don't know, it just seems really well balanced. It seems like a really good squad. Now, I want to know before we get into this video, first of all, what kind of squad you guys are rocking? And second of all, if you do enjoy this video, drop a like down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. But what kind of squad are you guys rocking in Foot Champs? I'm, I'm very interested to know. I'd love to hear what, what kind of squad you guys are rocking. Uh, for my squad in goal, we are rocking a Brazilian goalkeeper by the name of Alisson. I've used this guy so much. 133 games, and he's definitely one of my favorite goalies that I've used this year. He makes some stupid mistakes, and he punches the ball out a hell of a lot. And that is really, really annoying. Don't get me wrong. However, he just... He makes incredible like saves when it's really needed like close range shots he will stop uh, he'll stop sweaty goals and headers a lot of the time as well he somehow just does incredible incredible saves that you'd never expect him to get to but he just does anyway it's insane so definitely one of my favorite goalkeepers if not my favorite goalkeeper that i've used this year um at right back we've got kyle walker kyle walker is good don't get me wrong he's very pacey he's got good defending he's pretty strong but he has got awful agility and balance. It's like turning with a pickup truck. And that's kind of annoying if you're trying to get the ball out of defense by maybe dri dribbling in and out of defense. You're trying to, you know, uh, turn quickly to pass the ball up the field. You know, it's difficult with Kyle Walker because he's just not very good at dribbling. Like his balance and agility is just not great at all. So it's very difficult, especially if, if your opponent's on constant pressure. But he makes up for that with his pace and his, his, his stamina. His jumping's pretty decent. His strength is pretty decent. Uh, and he makes up with it by just absolutely chasing everyone down the wing and getting pretty much everything that he needs to get. So in the centre-back spots, on the right, we have got Eric Bai. Solid card. I'm actually a big fan of Eric Bai. One of my favourite centre-backs in the game, 100%. Um, and as you see, like I've used these guys a hell of a lot. So everything I talk about in these in these with these players, I'm talking from 100 games experience. Like, it's crazy. Um, Eric Bai is really solid, though. Big fan of Eric Bai. Um, the only thing that lets him down is stamina. And that's the exact same with the uh, with the other centre-back. But the thing is, is that it's not the only thing that lets, lets this guy down. Um, but it's one of the only things. Now... 76 stamina is not great in game. However, Davinson Sanchez feels like a donkey a lot of the time. It's very difficult to uh, to do a lot of with, with Davinson Sanchez. He'll miss out on headers. He'll miss out on, on important tackles. He'll just lose the ball. He will make a really stupid pass or just not be able to pass the ball at all. He will lose the, the tracking run. However... He comes in clutch when it's really needed, and that is what I do like about him. Uh, I wish that he was a little bit better, but he does come in clutch when it's needed. So, can't fault him too much. He's a clutch player, but I just wish that he was more consistent. Then at left back, we have got undoubtedly my favourite left back in the game. It is Ben Mendy. I've only used this guy for 10 games on, on with this specific card, but I've used a bunch of his different cards before. I keep selling him and rebuying him because I just cannot not use him he's insane he's so good he's six foot one he's got decent pace decent defending decent dribbling and physical decent passing uh and he's just solid he really is just absolutely solid i really do like him over at left center mid now we have got delhi ali uh actually incredible in this game and uh, now i keep saying incredible but like these guys are working to a point that i couldn't have even imagined like these guys are working so well for me 27 games with Deli Ali, only 15 goal contributions, but he plays at centre mid, and he is actually really, really good. 90 stamina means he just does not stop. He just runs and runs and runs. 84 aggression with 71 strength is pretty decent. He's six foot two as well, so he doesn't need a huge amount of jumping to win headers. Uh, he's strong. He always keeps the ball. Like when he gets tackled, he somehow just manages to win the ball back straight away. 85 reactions and 85 ball control contribute a lot to that. Uh, and he's got four star skill moves. And not only that. His shooting doesn't seem that great. 83 finishing is decent, but 78 shot power, 80 long shots and 79 volleys doesn't seem that amazing. But he seems to be able to score time for nest shots like it's nobody's business. He's incredible at them. I don't know how he does it. He just does it really, really well. So, uh, big fan. Now, 
Middle centre mid, we have got NDD. Uh, NDD's just been bought for the squad. Before, I can't remember who I had, actually. I think I was playing the uh, the right centre mid here and I'm playing somebody else. I, no, actually, it was Dembele. I was using Dembele. But NDD is so defensive and I love that about him. He's actually really, really good. Uh, I needed someone that was going to be a defensive rock as the two centre mids that I've got beside him just go up and down the pitch all the time. I needed someone that was going to be a defensive rock. And NDD is that. 90 jumping, 92 stamina, 85 aggression, 75 in-game strength. Incredible stats over there and physical. He's got really, really good defensive stats and he's just all round an absolute beast. Very big fan of him. And beside him, we've got another very good defensive minded midfielder. It's Fernandinho. Um, here he is. And it's actually Fernandinho's blue card. It's his UCL card. And this card is very good as well. 89 interceptions, 87 marking, 86 stand tackle. His pace lets him down a little bit. I, I will probably add a, uh, a pace card to him eventually. But coins are pretty scarce on the Road Glory account. So I'm kind of conserving my coins uh, and waiting until I pack a few anchor cards for maybe like weekly rewards or whatnot. So I don't want to buy an anchor. Or, or, or shadow card i want to try and pack it um but he's solid he really is really really good and i'm a big fan of him he's like a bit like kante last year just slower he just runs around the pitch buzzing around like a bee and just picks up the ball when he can and it works really really well with this midfield um over here on the right we'll go right forward first it's actually uh son hyung min or hyung min son um I, I don't know why people call him son son hyung min i just People do call him that. That's why I call him that. Anyway, we've got Hyung Min Son, who's actually incredible on this game. He's insane on this game. Um, he's only got 63 strength, which actually just surprised me because he feels like he's got way more strength than that. He's six foot with four star skills, five star weak foot, 86 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shooting. He is just absolutely insane. In 15 games, he's a uh, well, he's con contributed to 15 goals, but he just feels really, really good. And he's absolutely solid. And he pairs perfectly with the left forward, which is... Sadio Mane. This guy is unbelievable. If you guys can get this guy, he's very pricey, but if you can buy him, he's absolutely insane. He's phenomenal. One of the best cards I've used this year, without a shadow of a doubt. He's got 84 stamina, but he's got 95 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. This guy blitzes everybody. He's so quick, it's unreal. Like, you aren't even expecting it, and he just blitzes past people like it's nothing. Uh, he's got really good shooting stats. He's got really good dribbling stats as well. This guy dribbles really, really well. Four star, four star, and he just plays absolutely, um, like, really, really well with Son. And then up top, to finish off the squad, we have got ourselves his teammate, it's actually Roberto Firmino. Now, Roberto Firmino is really good. Do I think he's worth 98,000 coins? Probably not. However, he's still a really solid player, and I cannot deny that at all. He's got really, really good in-game stats. But this is what the squad looks like when it starts out. I rarely keep it at this. I'm going to show you guys my custom tactics. Now, um, my first custom tactic, actually, is the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. Now, what I usually do here is I have Mane and Sun a striker. I have Roberto Firmino at camp, then Fernandinho and Deli Alley at centre mids. I, I have Ndidi at CDM and then the back line stays exactly the same. This is what the custom tactic looks like though. It's pretty deep and what I do is I tend to just play one twos with the two strikers and then bomb it up the pitch. It's really well. It just works really, really well and it's quite an enjoyable way to play the game. Um, now if we go, go have a look at my other ones, I have an attacking 4-2-3-1 which looks a little bit like this. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's, that's completely messed up. I don't know why that's so messed up. But uh, usually it looks like this, actually. Um, where is it? Come on. There you go. And then that... Oh, God. No. Okay. This is not This is not going well. Usually, Fernandinho's at CDM. There we go. Okay. Then we've got Roberto Firmino at Cam. And then Deli Ali switches with... I think it's Mane. One, it's either Mane or Son up front, one of them, but that's pretty much what it looks like. And then the tactics look like this. Um, I was just trying out a few things, and this worked when you're just trying to hold the ball from the opponent. So uh, it works pretty well, and I'm a big fan of that formation too. Uh, then we have, of course, ultra attacking formation, which is just a 4 2 4 with constant pressure. Uh, and it looks a little bit like this. Um, it, it, you know. It's difficult because I don't have two strikers to put up top and two wingers. So uh, Deli Ali has to play up top in this formation. But I usually bring off Deli Ali for the likes of Martial or something like that. I'll show you guys the subs for this team in just a second. And then we have the Ultra D, which looks a little bit like this. And this works really, really well because I just play the ball up and down the wings with Mendy and Walker and Mane and Son. And then usually Andidi and, and Fernandinho just hold the middle so you can do one twos. And just keep the ball away from your opponent in the dying stages of the game. So 
That's the custom tactics and what the teams look like, or the team, should I say. Uh, on the bench, I have a few different players. Now, the players I usually bring on consist of Martial, Allen, and Douglas Costa. These guys are the players that get brought on the most. Uh, Martial's brought up, been brought on 104 times and contributed to 82 goals, which is pretty decent. Um, Allen's been brought on 50 times. And contributed to four goals, but he's more of a defensive-minded midfielder. And Douglas Costa has been brought on 69 times and he's contributed to 35 goals. Uh, I'll tend to sometimes, if if I'm not liking Firmino in a game, I might bring on Lingard. Or if I'm not liking, I don't know, Son in the game, I bring on Bailey for, for left-footed finesse shots. Or uh, or if I'm feeling fruity, I'll bring on Lucas. But I'm not the biggest fan of Lucas, truthfully. Um, and there, mo most of his stats are from starting as well. I'd say 80 games are from starting. Not great return at all. Uh, I'm thinking about trying to implement Lacazette because he's actually really solid, Lacazette is. Uh, but I'm just thinking about it. And maybe I might try and sell Firmino and get some coins. But let me know what you think of the squad. Let me know what kind of advice you have for the squad as well. This is my squad and I'm really enjoying it. And hopefully you guys can enjoy the same squad with my custom tactics and whatnot. I'm 7-2 in the weekend league. It's not too bad. It's not fantastic. But I wanted to share my squad and what is working for me and what isn't working for me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And I'll see you later.